The Alaska House passes bill to make gold and silver lawful delicate. Juneau, in the last days of the regulative meeting, the Alaska House passed a bill that would permit gold and silver to be utilized as legitimate delicate. House Bill 3, presented by Huge Lake Conservative Rep. Kevin McCabe, would permit entrepreneurs to choose if they need to acknowledge the valuable metals as money. The coiner bar would should be refined and its worth would should be validated, meaning gold residue or chunks couldn't be utilized. McCabe told the House State Undertakings Council prior in the meeting that one of his constituents recommended the plan to him since they have zero faith in the public financial framework. In excess of 10 states have passed comparative bills, remembering Arkansas for April. The bill explicitly absolves neighborhood state-run administrations from gathering deals charge when you s dollars are traded for gold and silver. Deals charges on buys made with the bullion would in any case apply. The utilization of gold and silver as money would likewise still draw in government capital additions charge. Assuming their worth expanded between when they were traded, the client could be at legitimate fault for tax avoidance in the event that they didn't report that pay. States, for example, Wyoming and Utah have utilized Gold Back Incorporated to plan their gold bills, which are then delivered by Oregon-based organization Valorum. McCabe showed instances of the other state's gold bills during a Board of Trustees hearing and recommended that the frozen North Expressions Chamber could plan a neighborhood form. In the event that the action passes the Senate, a joint official Board of Trustees would be entrusted with concentrating on elective monetary standards that could be embraced and utilized in gold country. The Sound Cash Protection Association, a public association that depicts itself as being laser-centered around re-establishing gold and silver to its noteworthy job as America's sacred cash, has upheld states the country over to pass comparative bills. Strategy Chief J.P. Cortez told the Alaskan legislators that deferring charges on gold and silver would eliminate disincentives for their utilization, and that bullion was a decent choice to stay away from the impacts of expansion. HB3 pulled in resistance from liberals and free thinkers in the House on Thursday. Rep. Rebecca Himshoot, a Sitka Free, said she went against the bill since it would limit nearby networks' capacities to burden themselves. The House charge progressed to the Senate on a 25 to 15 vote Thursday, with resistance coming from individuals from the liberal ruled minority gathering. The customary regulative meeting should end by 12 p.m. next Wednesday.